the Son of God goes forth to war, a kingly crown to gain. We are all corrupt. We are all sinful. We are all meet to be punished. If a soldier doesn't do his duty, he expects to be punished. There are failures great and small, and there are punishments great and small. But there is one failure, one crime, one betrayal that can never be forgiven. And that betrayal is called desertion. The deserter in the face of the enemy must expect to be shot. Jesus Christ is our commanding officer. And if we desert him, we can expect no mercy. And we are all deserters. Doing. It's awful. You forgot to yell. The yell of hate. Ah! It's the yell that counts. Everybody back. Hide the double. Ready, charge!
down! Get down! You're all dead. I've won. rifles at once. Hand over those rifles instantly. Come on, hand them over. Take this seriously. Very seriously indeed. The Reverend Woods might have been quite badly hurt. Do you realize that? Now I want you to apologize to him, is that clear? think that I don't understand. It's a natural characteristic of adolescents to want to proclaim individuality. There's nothing unhealthy about that. It's a quite blameless form of existentialism. And this, for instance, is what lies at the heart of the great hair problem. I think you boys know that I keep an open mind on most things. And on one thing I am certain, short hair is no indication of merit. So often I've noticed that it's the hair rebels who will step into the breach when there's a crisis. Whether it be a fire in the house, or to sacrifice a week's holiday in order to give a party of slum children seven days in the country. But of course there are limits. Scruffiness of any kind is deplorable. I think you'd go that far, wouldn't it? Now, the fees here are at present 643 pounds per annum which works out at about 15 guineas a week. This is no mean sum. It is the salary, for instance, of the average trainee supermarket manager. But on the other hand, it's no more than the cost of keeping a juvenile delinquent in Boston. However, this is merely to look at the matter in terms of hard cash, which is not the only consideration. There is, above all, the question of service. And those who are given most also have most to give. Now, you boys are intelligent. You're too intelligent to be rebels. That's too easy. And it would be easy to punish you in the normal way. But I'm going to give you a privilege. Work. Real work. And I want you to think of this not as a punishment, but as an opportunity to give. To serve. <laughs> 